So let's look at a few more ways of using kind of chance to get inspired for sounds, sound design as well. So, so far I've just been working with some MIDI data. Um, one thing that I find kind of has a chance element to it that helps me come up with ideas and sort of give me new ideas is working with field recordings. Anyone do any field recording? Cool, if you don't, I'd really recommend getting into it. It's pretty fun. You can just take your phone, go record a bunch of sounds out in the world. Because you can get some really interesting results, um, particularly with rhythms, but with melodic and sort of chordal elements as well. So I've got this sample here that I recorded in my kitchen. Just a bunch of clanking, some water. I'll just play a little section of it. water sounds in there. You get the idea. So in Ableton we have a device called the Simpler. I'm sure you've probably all come across the Simpler, probably used it as well. Simpler is really great for working with samples. So I can take this sample that I've got and just drop it straight into the Simpler. In particular, I'm interested, again, bottom left corner is just killing me today, um, in this thing called slice mode. So what slice mode does is it analyzes the audio file and looks for transients, where there's short little spikes in the signal. And that's usually where there's gonna be some, uh, something percussive, which obviously is gonna be great for rhythm. So like a little hit of a, uh, something metal or one of the uh, bubbles of the water going down the drain. So I've got all these little slices over here. And I can start to trigger those. But again, let's just lean into this randomness. Let's trigger these kind of randomly and let's look at some other ways to generate these random patterns. So going back to our MIDI effects, a MIDI effect that you've probably all used before, but maybe not in this way, is the arpeggiator device. So I'm going to stick that in front of uh, our instrument. So the arpeggiator, I'm sure you're all familiar, if I play multiple notes, it creates an arpeggio. So it plays them, instead of playing them all together like a chord, plays them one after the other. That's already kind of pretty interesting. So I could maybe capture that and that would be a pretty interesting pattern. But again, let's use some more of these MIDI effects to do something interesting. I'm a really lazy music producer. I don't like to do, do too much. I want the computer to do everything for me. So I want to be able to just play one note and have a whole bunch of interesting stuff happen. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chord device and I'm going to add some chords here. Now, because we're working with percussion, it doesn't really matter what I put in here. And I'm not going to need that scale device like before. But that's just going to take a single note that I'm going to play and create a chord with that. So I can start to create some rhythms with it. In the arpeggiator, you've got some random styles. So I can say random, and it's gonna move through the notes that I play, but in a random order. Let's maybe change the rate of this. Within the random settings in the arpeggiator, the one that I find kind of the most useful for coming up with musical ideas is this random once option. What that does is it puts them in a random order, but only once. It doesn't randomize it every time it comes around. You can see how that, that random order that it comes with every time I trigger a new note, it restarts it, but it stays in that random order. So I can just go in here and plug in a single note because I'm super lazy and maybe 
In fact, I'm just gonna leave that note there. And again, let's go with our friend uh, Random over here. And... This is gonna generate a bunch of these random, interesting little rhythmic patterns for us. Again, just to reiterate, quite a key part of this random generation of ideas is to be able to capture bits and pieces that you like so that you can just choose the best bits because we, we might not want that just kind of constantly generating in the background. So I've shown you how to do that with MIDI, how you can recapture MIDI from another track. You can do the same thing with audio as well. So if I create a blank audio track here, I can tell it to receive its audio from this kitchen track. And I can just capture a little bit of that randomness. Oh, that last one was kind of nice, but it stopped recording. And then just use little bits of that. It's kind of an interesting sort of shaker pattern, might go quite nicely with our drums. Oh, I think we've got the too much randomness happening on happening now. So we'll take off the, the the rotating rhythm generator, just go with the drums. Adding kind of a nice sort of shuffly feel to it. All of those patterns have just been generated by the computer. I didn't do any writing today. I, I wasn't feeling particularly inspired when I sat down, didn't have any melodies in my head, any, any rhythms. So those have just all been generated for me. And I've chosen the best bits from the ones that I like.